Okay, so I've been on the forum for 5M, and I've been on the Facebook 5M groups and everything, and I've realized that a lot of people are starting up their own servers. They don't know a whole lot about dev work, anything like that. And a lot of people have been asking, well, how do I install an add-on vehicle into my server? Well, fret no more, because I'm about to show you. So first thing you want to do is you want to go to GTA 5 Mods, right? I mean, go to Vehicles tab, click on Add-on, or whatever you want. Preferably, it's going to be an add-on. Um, I don't have this one in my server, so we're going to go with the 2018 Lamborghini Huracan. You're going to go to Download, Download it. You're going to wait for it to download. I'm going to drag that to my desktop. I can close out of the internet now. Now you want to open, open 4. You gotta have open for. You go to GTA 5 Windows mode, of course. Wait for that to come up. Edit mode. You have to put it in edit mode. You get a little box that'll pop up. You click yes. Okay. Go into your mods folder. Inside your mods folder, create your folder that's called 5M. Okay. Go to that 5M folder. Open up your add-on vehicle. You don't have to worry about that. Um, open up your little add-on vehicle right here, you'll click on it, add-on, 18, and sometimes you'll see a little dlc.rpf, drag that over into your open 4, and next thing you want to do, create your folder on your desktop, and just label it whatever, like this one is going to be 18 underscore... Huracan. Okay. You're going to put this folder into your resources so there cannot be any spaces. Wherever you put a space, just put a dash or an underscore. Go into that, create a new folder, name it stream. Okay. Go into your dlc.rpf, x64 vehicles.rpf. Now go into that stream folder that you just created, take all of these, and put them in that stream folder. Now you can back out to the main resource, 18 Huracan. You can go back out to, not that one, go back out to your data, and then you'll take all of these and you'll copy them straight into that folder. So easy. You're done with Open 4 now, you can close that. Now you can minimize this real quick if you want, or you can just leave it up. This is my server right here. Okay, I'm going to go into my resources, find one of my civ cars that's got all of these resources inside the folder. Okay, like I think this one's got it. Nope, not that one. This one got it. You just got to find one that's got all of them things. Like this one has got it. The GTR has got all of these folders. So, or all of these meta files, I'm sorry. You're going to take this resource.lua and you're going to copy it. Make sure it says copy. Don't move to because then you'll screw up your car that's already in your server. You're going to copy it there. Okay. Now go back out to your resources. Wherever your civ cars are. Now you can take 18 Huracan and you can put it in your resources. Okay, now I'm running a home base. As you can see down here, I'm running a home base server. Okay. Once you put this into your resources folder, you're going to want to go back out to your CFX server data master. Go down to your server config, edit it. And go down to wherever you've got your civ cars located. Like right here is mine. Create a new line. Press start. 18. Huracan. Now this is very important. You want it to match. Everything, like the numbers, if you've got a capitalized letter in there, you want it capitalized, underscore, everything. 
once you've got that in your server config, you want to save it, and close this down. You can close this, you don't need it anymore. You go to your server, close it, and restart it. Now, if you notice under your server resources, under your Huracan, it's not named Huracan in the game. It's going to be 18 Performante. So that's going to be the spawn name right there. So you can go into your server. Let's go into my server real quick. I just realized. What's that? I just put a fucking DLC car in my car. Or in my he game. Love, <laughs> I was like, I have no idea how to do it, but I just figured it out. Okay, so now that you're in your server, you can go to your F1 menu, your F4 menu, whatever you have. Go to vehicles, vehicle spawner, and it's going to be 18... Performante. And boom, there's your car. And that actually sounds amazing. And this model is not too bad, honestly. I'm actually digging this model. It's actually really nice. Make sure all the lights work properly. Which they do. Hazards work. Left blinker work. Or right blinker works. Left blinker works. Yeah, so. And this car is super fast. Look at there. Classic 47 Edward or 46 Edward under King 572. Which if you know anything about GTA, you don't have to change license plates, all your mods, anything like that. Now crashed right into the bridge. Um if that vehicle does come with any mods. Um, like when you go in here to your open four, let me get back into it real quick. I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. If it's, if the vehicle has any mods itself, okay. Uh, 5M DLC, X64, vehicles. There'll be a folder in here that will say vehicle mods. Dot, uh, I think it's vehicle mods dot RPF. You'll go in there and it will go into your stream folder with your car. They will all go in here. If I went too fast in this video, I apologize. You can pause it, rewind it, whatever, so you can keep up. But this is very simple how to do. It's more complicated to do it in regular GTA 5 than it is 5M. 5M is completely simplified. If this helped any of you guys, leave a like, you know, thumbs up, hit the subscribe button. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks.